What's up, guys? How you guys doing? So yeah, man. Um, so I'm back, and on today's video, I'll be doing a very, very basic tutorial for you guys. I'll be basically showing you guys how to how to play music from your iTunes account or whatever. I think Spotify as well using Virtual DJ. So how to stream music from your account using Virtual DJ. So what you will need to have is I'm using iTunes, so you'll need to download the iTunes app on um whatever man online. It's free, I think. Yeah, it is free. Download that, log in using your account. You will need an internet connection, obviously. Um, and then what else? And virtual DJ. So I'm gonna be using Virtual DJ 2020. I checked online, I haven't seen any 2020 um videos, but the process is pretty much the same, man. So yeah, simple. What you want to do, you want to open up your iTunes account. Boom, it's open. Your iTunes thing, your app, it's open right there. Oh yeah, do go check out my playlist, guys. If you love South African house music, this is where you find like all the recent songs, blah blah blah. Obviously, from top to bottom, more more commercial shit, and then deep, and then somewhere in the sense as your Afro stuff. But anyway, focus, focus. You wanna go here? You wanna go to edit, right? No man, what am I doing? Let me check. Was it edit? What was it? Ah, oh, flip. Why am I forgetting this thing? Uh, okay, never mind. Oh yeah, okay. So you wanna open up your music, right? You wanna go open up your app. You wanna go to file. Then you wanna go to thing. Uh, library, right? Then you wanna say, um, what is this, man? Ah, uh, export library, right there. You wanna say export library. And then boom, it's gonna show up and it's gonna give you some XML document thing. And that's the whole library thing right there. And then you're gonna save that, go to virtual DJ, find that, and then you sort it. So for example, with me, here's my one, right? I choose music library, I saved it there, and then it's gonna be it has to be it has to be XML files. So you just put choose a folder, click save. Once you've done that, you go to virtual DJ. You go to settings, right? And then you want to go to, I think it was options. Options. And then here, yeah, this is the hard part. I think most people struggle here because like virtual DJ is a bit tricky now. So you want to click here and you want to say all settings, right? And then once you say all settings, it's going to show you everything. Then you just scroll down until you see something that speaks about iTunes and Spotify. There you go, iTunes, Spotify, right there. Click there, click on that, that little arrow down there. Go to where your XML file is. For example, mine is this one here. Select it, open. Once you say open, boom, done. After that, give it a second or two. It should be fine. It should be fine. I think as well with um, Spotify and all these other things, it's the same thing. I'm just not too sure where. I think you should be able to set it up somewhere around here as well. You know, but I don't have Spotify, so I wouldn't know. Once you've done that, it should be done. Then you just close this, then iTunes, boom. As it is, downloaded music purchase 2020 chill, blah 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 blah. Same thing you see here. Blah 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 blah. Downloaded all the stuff there. Just as is. The 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 messed up thing about this though, if you guys didn't know, is that I only found out when I did this after that. You actually have to buy the music. You have to buy the the songs. You can't you you can't play you can't stream the songs so i can't use as you can see here this is literally empty it's just these two songs because i bought these songs but all these other playlists they have music but you can't see that there but if you come here and here and everywhere else you'll find the music it's just that it won't pop up on virtual dj because i didn't buy those songs so i can't stream them and i can't use them for such purposes so normally you want to go to purchase you want to just go to purchase that's where you find all the songs you bought and then yeah then you can play those songs at any point in time just like that then you just play your song see easy peasy straight from your itunes account and that's easy man so that's how you do that uh i think it should be the same principle with everything else um same procedure you just follow that do that and then it should be easy if you guys are struggling with anything then let me know uh on the comment section but yeah, quick one more time. Open your app, your iTunes thing, file, 
library, export library, and then choose where you put it. XML file, it should be saved as that. Come here, settings, options. And don't forget this step. Once you go to settings, emphasis on going here and saying all settings. Because if you look, if you look closely and you just say most used, you're going to scroll down and down. You're not going to find your iTunes thing. There's no iTunes thing, right? But if you say all, then it gives you all everything that you need to sort out. And then that's where you find your iTunes database file. Then you just click there. And then boom, choose a library, open, done. Then you close this and it should pop up eventually. If it doesn't pop up, close your virtual DJ and reopen it. It should be fine. And then all your other music content should be like in your normal folders. And that's basically how you do that, guys. So yeah, I um, think everybody should be happy with that. Yeah. So yeah, any questions, man, just hit me up in the comment section. Like, sub like subscribe, comment, Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, follow all that just there let me know if you guys need help with anything else then yeah man shop shop the fruit